for Tui. Almost poked the ball from Mutz. Mutz getting swarmed. Finds a loop on the Tomahawk jam. Oh, Maddox, the sophomore. Puts it on the deck, Aluma looking for his first points of the day with the left hand, he finishes. I, I love a post player that just takes his time. Well, while he's in the game. Be aware of where the defense is, show the ball one way. And Murphy leading all Hokie scores with eight. Another thing Coach Nichols probably talked about is, you know, if we're not going to make the shots, let's go get them. Let's get some offensive rebounds. Three feet away from the hoop, and he airballed it. And he came to the bench, and he says to Mike Young, will you run that again? And Mike Young will clean it up a little bit, says. Mentioned at the top, UCS likes to shoot a lot of threes. He's two for two from inside the arc, as Mutt scores on a beautiful find from Aluma. Drive past you for a layup. Aluma with position in the jam. Move down on the inside. Here, Aluma gets loose on the inside once again. Great look, Mutz to Aluma. That's money. 13 back to back buckets for Keve Aluma with a little help from his friends, Justin. Well, this is a physical. Virginia Tech team and when you take the ball to the basket whether it was Maddox on the last play for Virginia Tech or that last play for Duke you'd better be prepared to take a bump better be prepared for number 22 as well and the rhythm of the game has been Virginia Tech's good backdoor cut yeah and Couture finishes that the feed there uh, he said look you know that guy number one I know his name but we must do a good job on him Thus far in this game, they've done a nice job slowing him down. Here's Aluma. Count it, plus the foul. Down to seven. Aluma driving on Kafaro, gets past him for the two. Five to shoot. Aluma against Shedrick. The hook, it's good to beat the shot clock. So here's Aluma with success versus Shedrick. Shot clock winding down, keenly aware of how much time. Offers it up, beats the clock. Shedrick was clearly fired up from giving up that pass. So young kids out there, if you're wondering why he's still playing when he's not making shots, it's because he's defending. Aluma going to work on Lashetsky and he's got a chance to tie it. Also on the play. Inside to Aluma. This is where he can hurt you. Keve Aluma passing off Justin Mutz for a two. With a head of steam, trying to go coast to coast, and he lost the handle. Couture back the other way. Finds Aluma, who hammers it home. Timeout, Kevin Keats. Inside of eight and a half minutes to go in our first half. Aluma trying to back it down. He got fouled and he spun it in with a clockwise swirl. Aluma on the curl. Got the defender in the air. Kebe Aluma. And this is just a strong finish. The Vinci Tech Hokies don't have an answer for him. What would be the adjustment? Trap him. If you can't keep the ball out of his hand, you got to trap him. Aluma got a free lane. He slams it home. He's got four of six for the Hokies. You already mentioned the turnovers, 12 for us in the first half, 18 points off of them. Miami right now with seven steals on the game. But Virginia Tech, as you mentioned, have been able to get it done beyond the arc, and that's a nice way to start the half. It's really an important play for Virginia Tech. Aluma hesitated there a little bit. He didn't realize he was so open. That is only his fourth field goal attempt of the game. He was only one for three in the first. Coach Larinaga said he just does a little bit of everything as he picks up this steal there on that play as well. A bit of one-on-one -on -one in transition. That's completely denied by Aluma. Well, Aluma, you'll see him coming into the play right here. Just gets his fingertips. Redshirt senior, and so Kalida's going to have to provide that leadership that's normally brought to the floor from the point of Quick strike inside to Aluma. Tour, great feed to Aluma. Yeah. Now he answers oh, with some hoop in the harm on the other end. Oh. 
beautiful feed yeah. from Justin Mott's oh, Keve Aluma the finish. He's the only Panther to really get anything going in the first half. Aluma, look out! Keve Aluma hammers it home. Aluma for three. He's got it! Keve Aluma ends the first half. Showing off his ability to run the floor, but this right here, Jay, is what makes him a matchup nightmare. You really want to try to beat that zone down after a turnover if you can. If not, just swing it around and get it in that free throw line. There. That's when you want to get it. Great pass to your point. Once to Aluma. Picking up on the defensive end. Mutz gets it, throws the no look to Aluma. Finishes strong in the paint. Look at the no look pass. Strong finish. Who gets hot quite like the way Buddy Bay. He could, great job. Kevin Aluma. Aluma goes diving for it. Still loose. Aline throws it ahead. Mutz wants the lob. Mark off to Franklin. Beautiful feed to Shepard, but challenged at the rim by Aluma. How important this game was, and you see Kevin Aluma off to a great offensive start. Hokies need threes. Murphy will drive and Aluma will follow on the dunk. Aluma open for the lob, and let's see if that gets Kevin Aluma going. I mean, come on, Jordan Usher right here. Uh, Kevin Aluma. So you need to continue to apply that pressure, Aluma. You get him back on the bench, you can really feast. Aluma taking it all the way. The basket counts and the foul. All that stirs the drink. Active hands started with Mutz getting his hand in there, and Kevin Aluma. He's got those. Couture down Broadway. Drops it inside. And there's Aluma with the rim bender. And that play started with Justin Mutz being able to come over and get that ball and give them another opportunity. And again, we talked about Mutz and his ability to be able to dime his teammates up. And Wardenberg was a huge part of that. A couple of buckets and a steal from one of the seniors honored prior to the game. Aluma with position, and he rocks the stand. That was a much deeper three the second time he caught it. Aluma had cross on his back, and it's back-to-back -back finishes at the rim for the Hokies. Trainer left block. One dribble, and he's turned away by Aluma. A three is good. When he walks out to take the bench and he sees all the former players there, all the players from now, and how about Aluma? All right, you're going to chase me off the three-point line? They've made 10 or more threes in a game, highlighted by 18 on the road to Florida State. Oh, Luma's wide open. We have not been able to find, believe me, we've been doing a lot of looking, anything that precipitated that that might lead you to think, well, he was really angry, really upset, other than the shove there right before the punch. Big time block by Aluma. And Virginia Tech has been operating on all cylinders majority of this game. Another beautiful find. Nice offensive. Hey. Yeah, indeed. Murphy finished out. Mutz going in strong. Feeds a low mark for the slam. Coming back if he wants because of the COVID year. One-on-one -on -one in the post for Aluma. He can go right or left. He's got a left-handed jump hook, turnaround jumper. He's just got a great feel in the two ACC tournament games coming into this one. And that percentage is going up after this whole shot clock at seven. Good job by Caleb Love to blow off, blow off that dribble handoff, that handoff after. Aluma gets a look and knocks down the three. But he's showing it all. Two guys on the ball, long closeout. Remember, Williams has three fouls. Aluma, Gasson cutting and hitting. Such a good passer, Kebe Aluma, and a terrific cut by Gasson. Now Aluma on the block, spins by Griffin. What a cut. What a cut by Justin Mutz.